Since Ineos's ratification in February to acquire 25% stake of Manchester United and most importantly have full control over footballing affairs, changes have already started to take place. Most significantly, within the senior leadership roles above Eric Ten Hag and his coaching staff, after he was confirmed to be staying on and recently signed his contract extension lasting until June of 2026. Safe to say, it has been the staff overhaul many have clamoured for. Although not confirmed officially by the club at this time of recording, former Manchester United forward Ruud van Nistelrooy, René Hake and goalkeeping coach Yere Ten Ruela are expected to revitalise Ten Hag's coaching team for what could be a defining season for the Dutchman who Let's be real, he cannot afford to continue the club's downward trend overall minus the squad's FA Cup successes of the past two years. I, I do agree with that one there, see him. And, and in the short term also, let's not forget, to assist the club within the next two transfer windows, Christopher Vivell became Manchester United's new director of recruitment. A man responsible for having half for talents like Erling Haaland. Benjamin Sheshko, who in the past has been linked with Manchester United a few times, not so much in the current day, and even Josko Vardyov. His line of work should only enhance the structure slowly being established with the likes of Dan Ashworth, sporting director, Jason Wilcox, technical director, and Omar Barada, the CEO, as the headline acts in management positions. You're 100% right to mention that, Cappy, you know, and, and no doubt about it. Fans including us can be excited about Manchester United finally sorting out what perceives to be a clear structure in footballing areas. But there is still a problem which may be addressed if we are to believe in Yossi's commitment to cutting down staff following Sir Dave Brosford's <laughs> review of club operations. In the Premier League, and, and this is subject to change of course, the average number of staff members for all the clubs is just above 16. Around it. To 16 if you may. United have 33 without Benny McCarthy whose contract expired at the end of June with no indication of him staying on afterwards. That essentially means that we have double the league average in staff members mm. and the only other clubs who come close to that figure are Chelsea with 27 and Newcastle United with 29 who interestingly replaced Dan Ashworth with Paul Mitchell as their new sporting director. And regarding the number of staff we have to the league average, it was a really nice piece of research there by CM. And with success is not reflected on the number of personnel, me personally, I would expect things to change gradually over the course of the next season or at least a year. Probably to streamline those working to improve and, and elevate the men's first team in line with Brosford's aforementioned review. Mm. And, and we will have to see how everything works out down the line we, we we can kind of predict anticipate but we will never know until we get to that moment that specific moment the question i'm gonna throw back to you guys ladies and gentlemen 22s is are you optimistic about Ineos's reshaping of the structure the leadership structure and eric ten Hag's coaching team let us know let the united twins know in the comment section below make sure you hit a like on the video Subscribe if you're new, share to your friends and frenemies, please. That's not what you would like us to speak about as well during this summer and onwards pre-season almost beginning. Until the next time, we'll see you lot sinner, bitch.